गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज डॉक्टर तेजु सो इन द टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सेमैनेटिक पार्सिंग ओके सो द सेमैनेटिक पार्सिंग सेमैनेटिक पार्सिंग इज अ थर्ड स्टेप इन अवर नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग स्टेप्स सो द फर्स्ट वन इज मार्फोलॉजिकल और लेक्सिकल एनालिसिस and the second one is syntactic analysis and the third one is semantic analysis so here the semantic parsing is a third step in our natural language processing so this is a one of the important technique in the natural language processing it involves the mapping natural language sentences into a structural representation so that means it can provides a grammatical information along with the, a meaningful information so it, the given input sentence has has to be checked with the meaning proper meaning along with the grammar so if this is okay means our sentence has to give the correct output if the sentence the input sentence has to provide give to the nlp mission it will give according to that input sentence accurate output okay so the main goal of the semantic parsing is it enables the computers or nlp machines to understand a meaning of a natural language sentences so why that machines and computers need to understand means to perform the task based on that understanding so to perform a particular task and here this semantic parsing can be uh, done in the two ways so there are two approaches so in the first approach in the first approach just the rich language representation that means we don't want a complete or deeper knowledge in the given sentences that is the first approach and the second approach is we need a deeper knowledge that is meaning representation of the given sentences so based on these two approaches semantic parsing has to be done so first coming to the first approach so here the first approach means consider a simple example here what is the capital of telangana what is the capital of telangana no need to require a deeper knowledge just we need to know what is the capitals capital cities of a telangana so how the system will understand this query how the system will represent this query means so like this type is a query and target is a capital and entity type is a location and name is a telangana so this is the way i think everyone remember the database management how queries will write so same like that here the computers also will understand the meaning of a particular given sentence based on the semantic representation and consider another example here find the cheapest flight from the hyderabad to goa just we have a knowledge about where we want to go from where we have to go so from hyderabad to goa yes that's it and also we need one more knowledge that is which day or which date we want to go so if you have this much knowledge enough so you can fulfill the task so how the semantic representation of these sentences has to be right type is a query target is a flight and type is a location and name is a hyderabad and goa and type is a date and which day we are going to uh, we are, we want to go so if this rich language representation so if you don't have any knowledge also you can fulfill the task with the first approach and coming to the second approach the coming to the second approach in this second approach we have to know about a deeper knowledge of a particular 
sentence so the deeper knowledge means how how we can represent means a meaningful representation two types we have to represent the meanings first one is a deeper meaning representation and first one is a deeper meaning representation and the second one is a shallow meaning representations so all these deeper and shallow meaning representations has to be done in the semantic interpretation the next process is assigning the meaning to a piece of language that means the given input sentence we need to assign a meaning to the given sentence so assigning a meaning to the sentence that procedure is nothing but a semantic interpretation so what kind of uh, uh, meanings we will assign means such as a word phrase sentence or text so whatever it is so that this is nothing but a process of assigning a meaning to the piece of language so we need to assign a meaning for word we need to assign a phrase meaning to the phrase or sentence or text so this is the very 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 fundamental task in the natural language processing and these fundamental task involves the analyzing the language in its a context to infer its intended meaning so whenever we will assign a deeper information deeper representation of the meaning to a particular sentence or a word or a phrase or a text means it will analyze that sentence it will analyze that language very carefully and it will provide a grammatical correct meaningful input sentence so here the main goal of semantic interpretation is to enable the computers to understand the meaning of the natural language after understanding the meaning of the natural language it will perform the task based so whatever the task we will give to the uh, computers first it will understand the meaning of a particular natural language then based on that understanding it will complete that tasks okay so there are some examples of semantic interpretation here first one is word sense disambiguity so this word sense disambiguity in natural language many words have a multiple meanings right so it is depending on the context we have to phrase or we have to construct we have to structure the particular sentence so for example see here the word bank so in the first lecture itself we discussed about the word bank right so based on the context if it is a river bank means we will understand it is a river bank if it is a money bank means we will understand it is a money bank so based on the context the meaning will be changed okay so this semantic interpretation involves determining the correct meaning based on its context and this task is known as a word sense disambiguity okay so then another example is named entity recognition so here the named entity recognition so this is a another task of semantic interpretation so in this named entity recognition we need to classify very clearly about names places things like this okay so the process of identifying and classifying named entities such as the names people place things in the given sentence in the given a piece of sentence or piece of a text so for example see consider example bill gates is the founder of microsoft so the semantic interpretation will recognize us bill gates is a people name and microsoft is a company name organization name so bill gates is a person and microsoft is a organization so this is the way of assigning a meaning to the semantic interpretation so this semantic interpretation will recognize bill gates is a person microsoft is a 
organization so another example here it is sentiment analysis and sentiment analysis see here the old man kicked the bucket it will recognize this sentence as a negative sentence sentiments sentiments means has a people uh, happiness moods all these things identification okay so then another one is question and answering the semantic interpretation can also used in question and answering so which involves if we ask a question based on the question from the piece of text it will interpret the meaning of your sentence and it will helps to identify the relevant information of the a particular question okay so in the next video we will discuss about the important aspects of semantic interpretation hope everyone will understand this guys thank you very much please do subscribe my channel teju signing off thank you